Right, so, uh... <clears throat> First of all, sorry for clickbaiting you last video, but I, I, I just had to see how much people would click on it. It was pretty hilarious. I half know how to dupe. All I know is it has something to do with crashing your game, like... I'm guessing it's probably just collecting an item as the game crashes. I don't know how to make the game crash. Like, while you're doing that. I do know how to make the game crash in general, though, and it's called playing the game. Crap tr crashes 24-7. Is someone seriously begging for 50k skelly boxes? Global's just gone now. It's full of marketplace goons and skelly beggars. But if you can't beat them, join them. First of all, this is basically a revised version after I have a little bit more experience doing it. That was basically my first thought. Okay, so. Revise this. I've got some of the most common stuff listed out here. Primordial Flame will actually score. It will score, guaranteed. I'm gonna tell you how to get each of these. Three of them are bundled all into one. There is a lot to do, trust me. I, uh, I ended up getting a new skin, Lunar Ronin or Runin or whatever. Looks pretty good. While you're doing this, get some patron passes. Keep up to date on that, because that will mega, like, gets you some, uh, what are they called again? I've done forgot, like, cubits or something. Anyway, top right, the yellow coins. It'll get you a lot of those, and you absolutely need those to get more marketplace spots. The more you have, the better this technique is. Because trust, you do not want to do this with just, like, two slots. It's going to basically completely ruin it. What is the heart of phone garbage that I see going on in chat right now? But, uh, yeah, enough talking. First of all, attend pinata parties. I know I said this last time, but I got to say it again. These three will be... Two of them will be your backup, which is Viridium and Glim. Spam those. Like, spam those in your many slots, but put them for cheap. I have now realized that Glim, it used to be cheap, but it's suddenly inflated. It seems like overnight. Set that by unit price 200. It goes crazy. Ten K, the cheapest you can get it is two mil. I was selling it for three hundred thousand earlier, and so was everyone else. At least when I first looked. So uh yeah, Glim is now much, much more uh useful. Viridium is going to be your man or main spammer. Viridium is one of the core things in this game. That is going to, you know, ensure that you get money because people almost always buy viridium okay so here let me show you something some of those powerful weapons in the game hold on let me return wait no i have my bottles i'm not sure if hub even returns you here anyway but uh one of the main things here is sun seekers forge crystalline weapons these are some of the best weapons you can get I'm not sure if they are the best, but that's what I have running right now. Is a uh, crystalline bread. Uh, I cannot speak, but yeah, this is it. I'll tell you a little bit about that later, just building up. But patron active. Always have this active. If it's not active, go buy something. Or go buy one. I don't know why I have the cycle master on right now. I need to go back to my main dragon. 
I love this dragon design. It's so cool. But it, yeah, as soon as you like get some crystal, like crystal items going, you no longer need a mount. You travel as about as fast, if not faster. Right now, I don't really have anything built in movement speed, at least not that I'm trying to do. But Neon Ninja uh, ability definitely makes you go faster for sure. It's pretty fun. Pretty fun. Alright, now time for the other one. Why did I click that? Oh yeah, also while I was gone, I pretty much got every single, you know, class. Except for Pirate, because I still haven't gotten an Ancient Scale yet. Pretty much every class except for the three that are the hardest to get, you know, the, uh, the difficult ones. Why do I keep going to my character sheet when I'm trying to go to Atlas? I might as well go to the medieval highlands. There are highlands. Because I just need a quick corner stand. Perfect. I hate trying to get through that hole. I might widen it a little bit. Because I can't just run in it. The one thing I don't like about being this high a level is the laser mancy stat. Like, it's nice to mine fast, but I barely mine anyway. And when I do mine, I'm usually trying to be precise, not eviscerate everything in my, like, in what direction I'm looking. Dang it. <clears throat> yeah, I forgot what I need for these. I don't know. I forgot how to make the coded message and then training curriculum. Like I said, cannot speak. Jesus. I had an opportunity to buy Solarion, but like, buying is kind of gay. Like, buying characters is pretty, it's pretty gay. Just, just make them. That's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, I'm just lacking an ancient scale and that's it. <clears throat> For that. I need to store some stuff. What stuff do I have in here, first of all? The Berserk Battler. <laughs> Once I have enough cubits for it, I need to get the Crystal Gem Converter. Because that would actually kind of go... Like, good with that. Looking at most of the useful stuff in shop, it's either too expensive, or it's just not that useful. That's literally the whole dynamic. Also, I got a kind of funny build going. Uh, grant a brief invulnerability shield. This emblem goes crazy with chaos vials, because they have more flask capacity. And with the other stuff that boosts my flask capacity, 22. And then... Plus 20% critical hit for 10 seconds, which critical hits go crazy on this build. The only thing I haven't really done anything with are my uh, gems. I haven't really changed them since the last time. I got one class gem, and that's pretty much it. I don't know what this is. This looks interesting, but... uh. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, quickly before everything is gone, look up Dragon and Chop. Get everything you can before it's too late. Because all of these dragons will boost. It, or, yeah, dragons will boost your stats. And plus, it'll give you more mastery, which is equally as useful. Why am I sorting these by unit price? Ooh, just one mil? I'll take. But yeah, make sure you set it to mount. I forgot to do that. I think I just took one of the cheapest eggs down. Or that was a hatchable. That was a hatchable, wasn't it? Crap. 
Let's just test real quick. It was a hatchable. Try to get the ones that actually just instantly turned into a dragon. Instead of doing what I just did. You know, like an idiot. Or if you're like everyone else, you just get your favorite. Which I guess makes sense. Personally, I would go for, you know, more. Just, <laughs> yeah, just more. But yeah. I'll go ahead and get the wisdom. I already have the other dragon. Mastery 100. Ooh, well, there it is. Is that like a buildable item? I have no idea what the... that was. Maybe I should have read the claim. find. Oh, it's a tome. 15 dragon coin to one trove of a wonder. It's not good, but I guess I can run it while my Balmoriel thing's going off. Sorry if it's loud. It is currently raining a lot. Like, pretty hard. I gotta get this sorted. Alright, there we go. Anyway, I was, I was saying, yeah, um, crap, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, my build. That's how you do it, also. If you don't like Geo Topside, which, like, yeah, I don't either, but it's really good for EXP, because... You can get complete five-star dungeons in the top right. Either get someone to carry you or just do the lower ones yourself. That'll give you some pretty good EXP for sure. This game's pretty fun once you get pretty powerful, but in the beginning, it's like torture. I'm trying to figure out everything that's changed if you played the game before like I did, or if you just came to it and have no idea what the heck is going on. Yeah, but it is crazy. All right, see what I just unlocked. Three percent attack speed. That's pretty good. I need to look up all the attack speed dragons. Does he look good? Eh, kinda. Yeah. But yeah, whatever you can sell, start selling. Because right now, dragons are. Yeah, they're it right now. They're just it. You want to constantly put it for the same unit price too, because if you do, they'll buy in bulk. They just won't buy one thinking that was the only cheap listing. I've seen people do that. Which, I didn't think they would do that, but they did. Kind of went crazy. I keep saying that. Alright, there's four listings of Glim. Let's see what else I can throw on there. Cinnabar. That's the lower... Hold on, let's see the marketplace listings right now. The lowest is 300. Hmm. You see, here's where my other one my uh, 
other teaching comes into play. Buy other competitors if it's just one. Because as soon as you buy it, and the second best one is pretty expensive, then you can get away with listing it for a lot. Like, here, what was the last one? 2,000. I'm going to list it for 1,500. Actually, just 1,000. <clears throat> Boom. We've got some inflated cinema bar. See, most people like to scum it this way. I don't like scumming it this way. But at this point in the game, what are you gonna do? Like, I knew that other video wouldn't change the difference. I was just doing it to be funny and make fun of the dupe- or people who were trying to dupe. But, yeah, that's- that. I keep ranting. Why do I keep ranting? By the way, four fragments. I'm- and of course it didn't work. You can get these really easily if you attend those- oop, there goes my glim. You can- Where am I going? Oh my god, where am I going? <clears throat> yeah, four fragments. You can get these pretty easily. But I want to see if there's listings for them. Jesus Christ. 74 th Hmm. I can get much more than just 500 of them. If they go for this much, that interests me for sure. The tomes for it too. I don't have nearly as much as that. I I don't sell those in bulk. They only bought one listing. Wait, did I accidentally put that for... No, that was a cut. Okay. They only bought one for some reason. Interesting. I want to see how fast this... I have to make it for over a million. Let's just say, like... Yeah, it's not too expensive for 31. I just want to see if people do that. That's the equivalent to like three Leviathan keys, so it probably won't sell. But I just want to see. If it does, that'll actually be hilarious, and I think we just found another little break right there. But if you have the time or the patience to start farming materials, start farming. Because materials will go insanely high. But I'm trying to make this guide like some fast and easy ways to get money, not long and arduous like grinding. Which is where the primordial flame comes in. Let's take a look at the marketplace real quick. Oh, there goes my glim offerings. I thought that was the forge frag for a minute. Advertise the cinnamon, not the forge frag, because it just <coughs> did it. But yeah, that's where uh, primordial flames come in. Why do I keep going to that? It's muscle memory. <laughs> Forty-three cost six million. And if you're new, you might be thinking, hmm. Yeah, they're pretty rare. Why wouldn't they go for that price? Well, let me tell you why they <laughs> why they shouldn't go for that price. Cuz Dragonfire Peaks exists. And let me just show you. This is for the more advanced. I I can't really say advanced. No one who's just on Dragonfire is advanced. But uh always go underground cuz that's where every single bit of the primordial flames are. And if you have a high la uh, laser mancy stat, it goes even harder. Plus, I think there's more golden souls on Dragonfire Peaks. I can't be too sure. Maybe that's just me. Yeah, 
You want to look for the big veins, but if you can't find any, then it's fine mining them one at a time. You cannot waste a little time. It won't take not but 15 minutes to get into the triple digits. That's my experience. And if it takes longer, just throw on some music and chill. Because eventually, it'll be so brain dead that you can just sit there and not pay attention at all and still be doing it. The only disadvantage of doing this anyway is just a time waste. It's pretty boring. Well, it isn't for me because, you know, music, but still. Oh yeah, one other bad thing about this is for frick's sake, I got the Paragon Helm on, so I can't see Jack. I hate the fact that I automatically flocked it. I guess my D-pad just stuck down because it just sent me to the hub. I pressed it once to open my inventory and it sent me straight to the hub. Crazy. I'm just gonna open some of these. Ooh, Mega Core, okay. I used to have a problem with Chaos Cores. Dormant Wisdom Dragon Egg. That's how I hatched an aura, right? I need to give that back. Throw it on Marketplace. Capitalize off of someone who thought the same thing as me for a second because I'm an idiot. Why did I go to Dragon Souls? Yup. <laughs> Alright, the cheapest one is 14 million, so I'm gonna throw this on MP for 10 or maybe 8. Yeah, let's say eight. Let's throw him a bone. I'm always really lax. To make sure you... What do you mean lower averages? Someone put 34 of them on there. Oh, okay. Lower average. Alright, so the cheapest one is under a million. That's... Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw it on there for one million. Screw it. I'm pretty sure if it says dormant, then you need to hatch it. I really need that Diamond Dragonite. Can you get Essence? It's limited anyway. I hate how it costs so much for limited time titles. And half the time it didn't even give me my titles when I claimed them either, which is pretty annoying. The guy is still in chat begging for 50k skellies. And then there's the guy ch trading only 50 skellies. That's, that's crazy. At this point, I'm trying to remember. I had a whole, like, plot lined out for this video, but I just completely... Why do you need 50k? Because he's greedy. F 50k for 5... M oh. I thought, <laughs> I thought that was the guy who said 50k and he was going to put them on for 5 mil. I was about to rush to the marketplace and camp that. Actually, I should get the burnt coins tome because then I can switch between them.
There's a lava block, excuse me. Oh, well, that's kind of gay. Someone just told me that this is really good. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just going to convert them all to burnt coins real quick. <laughs> Sometimes it's just worth it to loot collect some of the lesser rewards. Er. Just collect it in general so you get the mastery. A hundred for that tome? Seriously? That's crazy. I used to play Bomber Royale a lot. Right now, it's not really worth it. As soon as you get the tomes, just quit. There's consumables. Why would you want your ally to go up? <laughs> oh, ten. Okay. Oh, that first. That is. That does not. That has not aged well. Thirty coins for a Trivian loop. That's crazy. Fifteen for thirty is also crazy. Ooh, superior focus. That's actually pretty good. And that's for burnt. Oh my god, that that is really good. At least good if you've got good gems. Did, I, did those everything there automatically claim, or do I have to claim some more? I think they automatically claimed. I'm about to just charge this after this video. Alright, now back to what I was doing. Really off track. I forgot this guy existed. Alright, let's check my primordial flame. Yeah, just 18. pretty sure that's what I'm there but anyway I think that's all for this video sorry it was really scuffed I forgot about half of the stuff I was going to talk about and also at the same time Ooh, well there went my egg I forgot about half what I was going to talk about and then I kept getting distracted too so that sucks but, um, in conclusion, attend pin parties, sell the materials you get from them. Always l go into Geo Topside and go for five star dungeons, get the quest, do that. Level up, go get class gems, farm for crystal gems, sell every other gem because you won't need any, or other ones, and thank you guys for watching.